Roll up, roll up for tonight at the Weird Strings Acoustic Venue. We have an evening of tall tales, tantalizing tunes, silly songs, dyspraxic dancing, and mystical, magical mayhem. Welcome.
Springtime. Springtime for farmers in Cumbria. my partner Ruth was um, away at an agricultural show and uh, didn't really have somewhere to sleep the night and so she spent the night in a freshly bedded up pig pen in with the, well, before the pigs got there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they thought about it when they got there. But, Get out of my bed. So we yeah, wrote this, uh, this tune, The Bed of Straw, and then um, we wanted to write a, a tune of the Cumberland Pig, didn't we? So. Yes, a, a song celebrating the the Cumberland pig, which was the sort of the original source of the Cumberland sausage, uh, but unfortunately there aren't any any left now, are there? Well, it's Cumberland sausage. It's Cumberland sausage, yes, but, but unfortunately the pigs were just too tasty. Too tasty, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah so, so, so there's there's, there's none left. So this is about the the love lo the love lorn plight of the final Cumberland pig, whose name happens to be Colin, mm. and it's called Colin, the Cumberland the pig. pig. Hmm.
starts slow, but it gets faster. That was another tune, wasn't it? Yeah, two yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>
last will and message of Incumbent Pig. The very last tree of Colin, Colin Sausage was Colin Incumbent Pig. Colin Incumbent Pig. Colin Incumbent Pig. Colin Incumbent Pig. Yeah. Colin Incumbent Pig. Well, this next chin was inspired by uh, a kind of strange phenomenon in planning law, really, mm. which is uh, it's, it's quite tricky to live on on the land with your with your animals in a kind of very low impact sort of sustainable way, or or anyway, really, you know, you know, even in a caravan or what have you. But um, nevertheless, you can put up a with a, just a notice of intention uh, a giant steel framed temporary temporary agricultural farm building. So, so yeah, there was a, a song we wrote about it. There was, there? and. Uh, this is a good song for joining in with. It's a tremendous chorus song with quite a tremendous, very easy, catchy, catchy, yeah, memorable yeah. little chorus line, yeah, yeah. which goes, There's, There's a chicken in my steel framed temporary agricultural farm building. And uh, you can all join in with that. Yeah, did you get yeah. that? Did you try to go? There's a chicken in my steel framed temporary agricultural farm building. Yeah. Yeah. And if, you know, if if that doesn't feel sufficient um, joining in for you, then you could perhaps make chicken noises. Can you hear that? Chicken yeah. noises. Chicken yeah. noises, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Right on cue, please. Yeah. Remember your cue. Huh. This is tricky. Mm. Which one are you going to play? <laughs> you can sit there. <laughs> Does he talk? Does he? <laughs> <laughs> stay there. Yeah, that, that's, that's very good. And we're going to sort of stuff like that for an hour. We'll be welcome. It's going to go well. But, as Wall says, first, a tune. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you going to make of this thing? Eh? Still 
different temporary agricultural farm building. Surely female chickens have been. No coxes yet. Not as yet. Chicken. Come see these beautiful barb that I brought to Wimpot to play for you tonight. I have crossed mountains deep and valleys high. I have scoured the northern waste to bring the very best of barb music here. So, without further ado, the barb will play the first tune, which is Deus Campus.
I'm the unreliable narrator and tell the stories behind each of these tunes. The next tune is a harling called Red Adair. It's about how John Longlegs, the farmer's son, who fished the lake in the spring and in the summer, uh, wanted to marry the smith's daughter. And the smith, being a proud and jealous fellow, demanded that John Longlegs uh, catch the biggest fish in the lake. So John Longlegs rode out and he caught many, many fish. He went out one day, he went out one week, he went out one month trying to catch the biggest fish. And one night he heard a voice from one side of the lake saying, Can I borrow your pot? And a voice answered from the other side of the lake, Yes, what do you want it for? I want to cook John Longlegs to stop him catching all my fish, said the first voice. John Longlegs rowed his boat ashore as quickly as he could and was never seen again.
The next and last tune that the Barb will play tonight is called Minky Lingo. This is one of the oldest tunes of the Barb, and the Barb have a long history with, uh, with mankind. In the earliest times, they used to level the land and fill in valleys uh, to help provide more, uh, more farmland for villages. Some Barb even move into farms, and when they do, they bring bountiful harvests and the cows produce the sweetest milk. But woe betide anyone that crosses the barb, for it will result in soured beer and sad times. But anyway, to cheer things up, the last tune is Minky Lingo. <laughs>
吧。Hey.